Hey guys, what's going on? I'm going to take a quick look at uh, Quant, ticker for this is QNT, and I'm currently on the weekly time frame. Um, as usual, before I get into the details, uh, a couple things. Uh, number one, if you're not subscribed and you want to get notified when I release new videos, or if you just want to be able to find this channel again, uh, click subscribe, click the bell, click on all. If you uh, click away without doing that, like I said, you may have a hard time finding the channel just because it's relatively new. There's only around a thousand subscribers or so, and because of that, I'm not really prioritizing the search engine. Also, if you want an exchange to uh, trade quant that does not require KYC, check out the link in the uh, pinned comment and the description. There's one called Bing X, and they're offering about 150 USDT um, for people that sign up and just meet like a very minimal uh, criteria. Also, there's a link to uh, an exchange called BitGet and another one called uh, OKX. Those two do require KYC, but they're pretty reputable exchanges. Okay, so let's take a look at the chart here. Um, I did an analysis video on Quant, I think about a couple weeks ago. Not much has really changed since then, but I'm gonna take a look at it anyway. Okay, so if you wanna trade Quant, I recommend that you draw um, this upsloping level of support, right? And here I have it drawn from the wicks. And you would also likely want to draw this downsloping level of resistance. You'll see this line uh, runs all the way from the peak of the all-time high here and uh, yeah, all the way down. This is a long-term level of uh, pretty strong resistance that when the price gets near it, particularly on the weekly time frame, um, yeah, sellers step in and, and just push it back down. Okay, and also uh, if you want to trade quant, I recommend that you draw this support line right here, okay? Now, of course, you can eye it out and you can see that this is obviously where the uh, the price is being supported for quite a while. Or what you can do is you can take a Fibonacci tool and run it from the swing low. So that would be the bottom of this wick right here and then drag it up to the top of this wick. And uh, you'll see that this was actually the 50% Fibonacci level that was holding the price up uh, for so long. And I did a video, I think, right when uh, this level was breaking. And I just kind of pointed it out to you that, yeah, we are breaking down from this long-term level of support. And because of that, I mentioned that it's likely that we come down um, to this lower uh, support level, this upsloping level of support, and also this 618 retracement level. And at the time, it looked like they may have uh, converged at the at the same point here. But now uh, it's taken longer than I expected to come down. So um, this 618 is going to be below this upsloping level of support. But, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we do get a wick down and then a bounce off of this. And then maybe a candle body close uh, to salvage this level, this upsloping support level. Okay, now with that being said, if I, um, I'm going to get rid of the, the Fibonacci here for now. If I take a trend line and instead of drawing it at the wicks, I draw from the candle bodies. And this is what a lot of traders do. So there are people looking at this level as the support, right? So um, if I draw from the candle bodies right here, right here, and then that shows that we are at a current uh, level of support. So um, knowing that, I want to change the time frame. I'm going to take it down to the daily and I want to see if we have any... Uh, divergences okay we are bouncing off this level of uh support um these are basically equal lows here but if i look at the um divergence indicator you see how we have a low and then this is a much higher low and also that's showing the same kind of thing here on the uh, stochastics we have a low and this is a much higher low despite these lows being uh, pretty much equal. So this is indicating to me that there is some strength coming into the market. It's not officially a bullish divergence, but yeah, it is a uh, slightly bullish sign. Um, do I think this level is gonna hold? I'm not sure, but what I would not do uh, where we are right now, unless this level breaks, is enter a short position, right? Just because um, there are people looking at the support level. We are showing um, bullish uh, signs when we look at the divergence indicator. Um, so, yeah, I would not personally be entering a short where we are right now, unless, of course, this level breaks. But even then, if this level were to break, I don't think it's worth, uh, I don't think it would give me a good R&R risk reward uh, ratio just to short it uh, down to here. So my play on this, I'm going to put it back out to the weekly time frame. I'm going to either wait for the price to come back up and if the price comes back up where these two resistance levels converge, so that would be right here around $95.52. So you see um, we have this long-term level of support that was broken and now this is going to be a level of resistance. Again, that's the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. And if the price comes up to this uh, at a time where it also converges with this downsloping level of resistance, this multi-year resistance level, again at around $95 five dollars and fifty cents uh that's when i will be looking to enter a short position uh pending some bearish uh candle closes
prices and I'll place my stop loss slightly above it, maybe around $98.58 around there. And then I would target um, this bottom level once again, and that would be around $86. So that would give me a pretty good R&R. And this is just a very, very high probability trade setup, right? If the price comes up here, a lot of sellers are going to come in. Now I'm going to get rid of this. And uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to draw the fib once more and I'll give you the um, the target if uh, that trend line breaks that I just had drawn on there. Bottom to the top. And yeah, this uh, golden pocket range, this 618. Um, if the price were to crash down right now, this would be around $79, so about $79.50 about. Um, that's where it is. Of course, this is upsloping. But yeah, again, I would not be surprised if we do come down and hit this 618. Just the way the uh, market's going right now, it certainly doesn't look overly bullish. Um, we can come down, get a wick off this golden pocket range, candle body close above this trend line, hopefully. And then, yeah, that would be uh, my cue to perhaps take a long and then place my stop loss below the support and then target um, this downsloping level of resistance. But of course, as you can see, the trading range is getting narrower and narrower. Uh, these two trend lines come to an apex point um, in December. So when that happens, the uh, the traders are going to have to pick a direction. It's either going to crash out of here pretty hard or it's going to have a pretty big uh, pump to the upside. But in December, if not before then, we are going to have a breakout. Now, the direction is just not decided yet. Given where we are in the uh, in the market cycle, I would anticipate that this will break to the upside. Okay, so that's just a quick uh, overview of Quant. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, smash the like button. If you're not subscribed and you want to get notified when I release new videos, or if you just want to be able to find the channel again in the future, uh, click subscribe, click the bell, click on all. And if you want an exchange to uh, trade Quant on, check out the ones in the pinned comment and the description. Okay, guys, take care. Have a good day. Bye.